humanitarian, musician, physician, Albert Schweitzer once observed, there are two means of refuge from human misery, music and cats. <laughs> I would expand that to include all the wonderful creatures that nature has bestowed on our planet. As a matter of fact, a pet python named Julius Squeezer <laughs> taught me far more about scales than anyone really needs to know. <laughs> For 52 years, the last 35 of them at Peabody, helping music students develop into world-class musicians has, in turn, helped me to be a better musician and teacher. I have always preferred to be behind the scenes in helping people, a collaborator, accompanist, if you will, aiding and abetting, but never colluding definitely no collusion ever. <laughs> Whether it was playing the orchestra part on a second piano in Avery Fisher Hall to help Awadaj and Pratt win the Naumburg competition in 1991, uh, the many recitals and competitions, I played with Zul Bailey and uh, many other students all over the world, or helping Hilary Hahn learn the Schoenberg Concerto a piece that I had long regarded as far more Baird than Schoen, <laughs> until I spent a summer helping her to learn it. The list is very long and includes every student that has ever graced one of my classes. Music is a lifeline that was freely thrown to me at a very early age at the first orchestral concert that I attended at the age of seven. The featured work on that program was the Brahms D minor piano concerto. And in the course of the performance of that piece, I accepted Johannes Brahms as my personal lord and savior, <laughs> and music as my newfound religion. Over many years of study, I've added gods and idols until now, when my musical pantheon includes composers alphabetically from John Adams to Judith Lang Zaymont, and chronologically, from Hildegard of Bingen to Judith Lang Zaymont. <laughs> Through performing and teaching, I've tried to pass the lifeline that was thrown so freely and generously to me onto others. I would be remiss if I did not recognize the tremendous amount of help that I get from those who assist me on a daily basis. Jacques-Pierre Malan, a superb cellist, who has lived in my house and helped enormously since I became disabled five years ago, the parking garage attendants, who always ensure a space for my special needs vehicle, the maintenance staff who make sure that my teaching space is clean and safe, the cafeteria staff who haven't poisoned me yet, <laughs> my brilliant and inspiring colleagues, all of whom deserve excellence in teaching awards, in my humble but accurate opinion. <laughs> and of course, uh, most obviously, the most excellent students. I am thrilled, delighted, honored, and humbled by the recognition shown me today, and I have every intention of continuing as long as I am able. Thank you very much. Woo!